Rise of the Guardians is a game in which Santa Claus beats things up. Over and over and over. Being on the naughty list has never been so dangerous. It's Rise of the Guardians for the Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> This is obviously based on the animated movie, Rise of the Guardians. Now, that's a movie I have not seen, nor do I plan to. But I'm assuming the basic idea is that you know, all the holiday heroes have to join together to fight evil. You know, be because Santa's in such great shape. What with the milk and cookies. I must have bought a thigh master. From Suzanne Summers. So this game falls into that obvious category of, oh, uh, kid-friendly beat-em-up based on popular movies. Play as five characters from the film. North, Tooth, Sandman, Bunny Mund, and Jack Frost. I have no idea what that means. You can switch between them at any point and play as a holiday hero. Which, I guess, is supposed to make mashing B less tiresome? <laughs> And I honestly couldn't believe how repetitive this game is. Like, I kept thinking I was in some extended tutorial or something. That seemed like the only explanation for me having the same missions and enemies despite being in different levels. And even that doesn't make sense. Nonetheless, each of the game's handful of worlds is basically a little hub filled with challenges. Walk over here, and you can defend the little character from these, these black creatures go over there and you, you have to fight off a horde of the same little black creatures. In fact, no matter where I went, those things followed me. So did the same two or three missions. Who knew missions could walk? You earn points that you can use to upgrade each character individually, but the changes don't even seem to matter. Of course, that could be because I was eventually playing through this on a mental autopilot. I mean, I don't even remember coming to this place. Let, let's see if it is any different. Oh, uh, well. Well, maybe the air is lighter. Uh, until technology allows us to physically enter the game world, we'll never know. Only the movie's biggest fans and naughty list members looking for brownie points need apply.